coming.
very good. But you know I'm still hungry. Yeah? So am I. dollars pouring into the hands of the American worker. Now in the mind of the average worker live two separate personalities. One, the thrifty. Wait a bit, laddie. You're going to save a bit of that, aren't you? <laughs> Oftentimes, idle money burns a hole in your pocket, which brings out the other personality. <laughs> the spendthrift. Hi, big shot. Come on with me. I'll show you how to spend your dough. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I got a couple of good dates. But, laddie, I've got some better dates. Important ones, too. When every American should pay his or her income tax gladly and proudly. This year, thanks to Hitler and Hirohito, taxes are higher than ever before. Will you have enough money on hand to meet your payments when they fall due? Ah, we'll take care of that later. Forget it, forget it. But you don't want to forget our fighting men, do you? Yeah, no, sure. Then you'll have to start saving right away to meet your tax payments. Listen, chum. Spend it. It's your dough. Yeah, it's my dough. Aye, laddie. It's your dough. But it's your war, too. You must save for victory. What's money for? Spend it. Shoot the works. Nay, nay, you must save it. Spend. Save. Spend, save, spend, save, spend, save, spend, save, spend, save, spend, save, spend, Well, now what are you going to do? Spend for the axis? or save for taxes. Just remember, every dollar you spend for something you don't need is a dollar spent to help the Axis. That's right. And every dollar you sock away for taxes is another dollar to sock the Axis. <laughs> for it is your taxes, my taxes, our taxes that run the factories. American factories, working day and night. Factories making guns, machine guns, anti-tank guns, long-range guns, 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 all kinds of guns. To blast the aggressors from the seas. Taxes for American factories, working full blast, making planes. Bombers, dive bombers. Flying fortresses, interceptors. Stalk the birds of prey that fly by night. Battleships, battle cruisers, destroyers, all kinds of battle wagons. Axes to sink the Axis. Axes to keep them flying. 
Taxes to keep them rolling. Taxes to keep them coming. Taxes to beat to earth the evil destroyer of freedom and peace. This is our fight. The fight for freedom. Freedom of speech. Of worship. Freedom from want and fear. Taxes will keep democracy on the march. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. 
Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. I've been dreaming and scheming a way to escape. As the warden and guards, they all bore me. Life in prison was never meant for me. Although I hate, I said I hate to leave my cell, a mateys. My loving buddies are sorry, are so very, very, very sorry, warden dear. About time a screaming from here. And now I am going to go. Yes, I am going to scram. Ah, yes, I'm going to go, I'm going to scram, I'm going to take it on the lamb. A go! Bye-bye! Bye-bye. <laughs> nice voice, there. nice voice. Great possibilities. Fine boy, fine boy. He's gone, he's gone, he escaped. Why don't somebody do something? Do something. Say, that's a good idea. Maybe I can do something. Sure. <laughs>
not much more that I can do for Nancy. Doctor, that doesn't mean that... No. But the best doctor in the world for her right now would be the son. flying friend, Bobkite. I didn't expect to see you till spring. Well, this is sort of an unexpected trip. You see, my friend here, Raggedy Ann, has something of extreme importance she wants to talk to you about. Why, I'd be glad to speak to her. <laughs> well, Raggedy Ann, what can I do for you this bright, sunny day? But it isn't a bright, sunny day down where we are. And I'm afraid something awful will happen to our Nancy. They say that you are the greatest doctor in the world. And I'm sure if you'll just see her, she'll get well. Please, Mr. Sun. Well, this is a rather embarrassing. You see, at this time of the year, the sun doesn't even shine bright in my old Kentucky home. That is, unless Cloudy moves out of the way and lets me peek through. Sometimes I get burned up about it myself. Wouldn't Mr. Cloud let you see our Nancy for just a little while? I'm sure if you ask him that way, he couldn't refuse. Now, if you'll just slide down this sunbeam, you'll find him on yonder cloud bank. Thanks awfully, Mr. Sun. Clouds while snow's still around. Zero, not me, is the one to see. When he melts snow, then I can blow. Zero. That old icicle hangs on till the last day of winter. I must see Mr. Zero. I'm blowing his way. Glad to fly you there. Get tight, Raggedy Ann. Take care.
snow melt. Preposterous. Absolutely unheard of. Why, I... Oh, Nancy is dreadfully sick. If Mr. Breeze can blow Mr. Cloud out of the way, Mr. Sun can look down on our Nancy and make her well again. And just what has all this to do with me? Why, Breezy isn't allowed to blow till you melt all the snow. Melt all the snow? I still have two weeks to go. Have you no respect for tradition? Couldn't you make an exception just this once? Oh, why, uh, uh, that's ridiculous. But Mr. Zero... But nothing. That's final. Children are so ducky. 
I'd love to hatch a batch. I think you 
trying to kill me. the courtesy of the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. Ladies, this is the year for foxes. Yes, foxes have really come into their own. Wherever you see smartly dressed people, you'll see foxes this season. On Fifth Avenue, on Hollywood Boulevard, yes, and even Miami. The discriminating woman everywhere will insist on having a genuine fox around her neck. Now don't forget, ladies, for the best in foxes, go to the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. Sold already quick. Bub, we're busting out of here tonight, see? Nine o'clock. You're with us, ain't you? 
Getting out of here? Out of here? Oh, no, no, no. I just got in here. <laughs> I'm practically sold already. Yeah, to, to Mrs. Van Doe. It, he, he said so. Say, are you nuts? Now listen, bub. They're all going out, see? And you're with us. Or... Uh... Oh, uh... Well, uh... I'd like to go with you, sure. I, I want to go with you. But, uh... The, the door's locked. I can't get out. No key. No key? Nine o'clock call. Hey, <laughs> 
Ah, 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 ah,